Hi, today I'm gonna to show you a few activities that you may wanna try over the holidays to build more gratitude into your family life. These are some simple things that you may be able to do with your, with your children over the holidays. Um, the first one I'm gonna share with you is just using a uh, simple chalkboard. You can often find these at office supply stores or art supply stores. Uh, you may even have already like a, a whiteboard or a chalkboard that you use as a family in the home. And you can just set aside some or all the space on it um, on or around the holiday and, and let everyone have a chance to write something down that they're grateful for. Or maybe even write um, appreciation notes to people in the family on the, on the chalkboard or the whiteboard. Another one that you can try, uh, this is a real simple one. Uh, just using a jar and slips of paper and uh, again giving everyone in the family a chance to write down something they're grateful for or maybe um, dividing up family names and having each person pick a name and write down something that they appreciate about that person and that can be something that you share together uh, at the dinner table after dinner when you're eating dessert um, whatever feels right for your family, you're creating your own family tradition. Um, you can also try, and I've seen people put this maybe on a big piece of poster board or just a plain piece of paper like this will work. Um, just drawing a flower, letting each person have uh, a petal for a space where they can, again, the idea is to, um, and, and you can also use colored pencils and markers and whatever else you'd like to decorate it. But again, the idea is to express gratitude, write notes of appreciation, um, and use, use the petals as a place to do that. I've also seen people use a tree, like they have, they draw a tree trunk and have people, um, you know, cut out leaf shapes where people can use the leaf of the tree to, to do something similar. Um, another one that might be fun, um, rock painting, uh, being able to, just make a, you know, simple or pretty design on a rock. And, and again, you would potentially assign um, each child a person in the family uh, or, you know, however you want to mix it up, whatever feels comfortable for your family to create a little offering like this that they can give to the other family member and express that appreciation or gratitude as they gift them with the rock. Uh, you can... You can design it how it works, whatever feels comfortable for your family. Um, the other one that you may want to do as a family is if someone can't be there, and this this is likely to happen more this year in 2020 than any other year that we've seen before, um, taking time as a family to maybe sit down and write some appreciation notes or cards uh, to that person. It could be as simple as, um, just getting out some three by five index cards and letting each child uh, color it, write something. You can help the younger ones write messages if they need a little help with spelling or holding the pencil or pen. Um, and just put that in an envelope after the holidays and send it to that person. It's a real uh, nice way to uh, continue to build those connections even from far away. So I hope that helps spark some ideas for your gratitude exercises over the holidays.